What is going on, guys? Let's answer questions, and this means it's paintball question time. Lucas Carter wants to know, how do I get me and a few friends into a league? So I don't know if that's like a real easy question to answer. It's gonna kind of matter where you live and what's happening around you, right? So if you live somewhere where there's a bunch of tournament fields, it might be pretty simple. There might already be some leagues for you to join that are local. I think a good way, depending on how old you are, is to start out at, if they have it, if it's possible, two men young guns, where a lot of the time it's like under 14. So you just gotta get one buddy, and if you guys are under 14, you can play two man young guns against kids or people that are skilled as you are. It's also good to look at three man if you're too old to play that young guns, or if you wanna you know, get another guy and play three man, I guess. Three man is typically always beginners too, it's just people a little older, so you can play against, I don't know, people from 10 to 70. If you don't have tournaments in your area, approaching a field owner or staff that work at a field, Ask them if they've ever thought about it, or if you could help out and help put one together, possibly. It'd also be a good idea, maybe look at the NXL two-man stuff. I know if you go to playnxl.com, they have a bunch of the two-man information on there. It's possible there's one in your area. I know around here, at least, here in Northern California, there's a few fields that do like a meet-and-greet day. So where you, by yourself, or if you have one friend, could go like meet other people that are looking for teams. Now that always works out pretty well, because um, you're getting to meet people that are your experience level that don't probably have a lot of friends that play paintball uh, and yeah most of those guys end up needing teams or interested in like playing tournaments so yeah maybe encouraging a local field to do like a meet and greet day would also be cool i hope that's helpful Ely or kumi i hope i pronounced that right what can we do to make paintball more affordable um I think that's relative, right? Affordability is gonna be based on how much money you have. Affordable to one person might be expensive to another. And maybe some people think paintball's super cheap, but a good way, and I know a lot of people do, at least personally to make paintball more affordable to themselves, is play pump, right? I mean, you can get good pump guns for $200, $300, and you buy a 500 bag of paintball and can play all day. It's at least not necessary when you play pump to you know, buy two cases of paint, shoot two cases of paint all day, you can just buy a 500 bag and be good. Uh, or also MagFed, I mean MagFed is the same situation where guys aren't shooting you know, cases of paint every day. Uh, you can go out with a 500 bag and be good all day or maybe 2,000. So reducing paint consumption is probably gonna be the easiest way to make paintball cheaper. But I think as an industry as a whole, paintball has been getting cheaper. I mean, 10 years ago, like good paintball guns were $1,000. Now you can get good guns for $300. Good hoppers are 100 bucks. Where it's good hoppers, yeah, 10 years ago were 150. Good guns were 1,000. So in general, equipment's gotten considerably cheaper and better. So I think the industry as a whole has done good at that. Paintball prices have stayed about the same though for the last like 15 years. Although quality has gotten considerably better. So yeah, let's say 15, 10 years ago, a good case of paint was $60. Now the entry level $40 paintballs are considerably better uh, than they were 10 years ago. So I think paintball has gotten a lot cheaper, but a good way to make it cheaper, for yourself at least, maybe look at Pump or MagFed. Theron Anderson wants to know, I'm an ex-player that's older, 32. Well, that makes me feel even older. How do I start getting back into the sport? I last owned a GZ Intimidator, I have one of those. Should I jump back into playing airball or just wreck stuff? I guess my courage is low to go play again. Uh, I don't know, just go for it, man. Like, whatever. People, when you had your GZ though, like 14 years ago, people are considerably better at paintball. I'll bet like, you know, some of these division four teams could beat like semi-pro teams 15 years ago. So a lot of the lower division people are even really good. So skill level, at every level is considerably better. But yeah, you don't have to jump right back into the airball field. Just go play rec ball a couple times, get the feel of it, and then just go out in the airball field. Or just go on the airball field. It doesn't really matter. Who cares if you get your ass kicked? Just go have fun. You'll get better. You'll get the hang of it. Jump back into it. Just full head of steam. Go for it. Nathan Santos wants to know, what are some cleaning tips on exalt barrel maids and hoppers? Well, barrel maids and hoppers are kind of two different products. So let's just say barrel maids. You can clean them however you want. 
I know I get a hose and just like, just hose them off. Or if you don't have a hose, just put them in the sink and just wash all the paint off, let them air dry. It's pretty easy. Barrel maids, barrel swabs, whatever you have. Hose and sink. You can even do it at the field with a hose. But I don't clean them often though. I mean, they go a pretty long time until you need to clean them. The paint absorbs pretty well. It typically kind of evaporates, so yeah. Hoppers though, it's gonna depend on what hopper you have, right? Like I know with some of these higher end hoppers, it's real easy to just take out the internals and then just hose the inside down if you break paint inside of it. And then I'd use yeah, microfibers on all the electronic internal parts. Don't use a hose. Don't use anything water. Disassemble and use microfiber towels, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Ryan Hershey, other than using a pump, I already do. What else can I do to play with renters or beginners to not steamroll them? So I understand if you're like way better than rentals, why do you have to steamroll them? Just play slower. Maybe go to the new kids and like, you know, try to help them out. Be like, oh, shoot this way. Or like move now and get at a better angle and try to shoot that guy. Like encourage the new players. Because these new people are very important to paintball. It's extremely important that they go out and have fun. And it's not fun if you just, you know, shoot all the little kids in the head all the time. So try to be helpful. Give them targets to shoot at. I know when I'm playing rec ball, uh, or there's renters or, you know, little kids around, I'll, like, hang out of the bunker. Like, bunkers right here, I just, like, hang out and, like, let them shoot at me and tuck back in and kind of, like, just mess with them. Give them something to shoot at. Let them have fun. Because it's very important that they continue to play paintball. If they just come out and don't have fun, then they're not going to continue to play paintball, and then paintball's not going to grow. So it's very important that these new players, rental birthday parties, beginners, whatever they call them, have fun and play paintball. It's very important. It's not like the guys in the NBA go to the park, play some pickup basketball games, and just block everybody's shots and dunks on all the kids. They're just, you know, out there having fun and passing the ball to the kid, telling them what to do, be like, oh, shoot it now. Just encouraging them and making sure that they have fun and liking paintball or basketball player making sure they like basketball and have fun because it's important that we get people to stay in paintball and not discourage them so i think it's easy not to destroy the rentals that's paintball question time we do this paintball question and answer thing every wednesday 9 a.m pacific standard time send your questions in check out this playlist for more paintball question and answer shows or check out our store or the circle button there, subscribe.